<laughs> today we got some good old pizza. No clue how to set this something going up. So I said, I'm gonna just roll with it. We got some good old garlic sauce. See that, what up? Uh, Chipotle ranch, regular ranch. I'm just gonna take this something going out. It's a small, no fancy setup today. Oh, that's a green onion. Ain't TKC got me wanting to taste green onions with everything. Adjust my camera, bring it down. But dude, about the ugliest setup we have never had, ain't it? Damn. Ranch. Oh, I just got that all over my shirt. Ranch. I know this ain't the prettiest setup, but girl, don't worry about my hair. We're gonna roll with it. Oh, that look like. I don't know what the hell that look like. I'm just gonna roll with it, I guess. I don't know. And garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. I'm excited to try this. Garlic sauce. Ooh. Smell like Papa John. another banger. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin will post another video. What we are having today is some good old mac and cheese pizza. I don't know why I was craving that and green onions. I'm not. It's no way possible. If we can go ahead and get into this prayer so we can go ahead and get to this fight by your head. Bow it. God, thank you so much once again for the food that you have prepared for my body, Lord God. As I go into this video, I ask you to let me keep my eyes on you, Lord God. I'll be honest and let you know that I have lost focus of, Lord, what you wanted me to do. Then I'm coming back to you right now, Lord God, to tell you that I am ready and I am focused back on you. So whatever your will is, let it be done. In your name, I pray. Amen. Mac and cheese pizza. No cheese pool. See if we get a good little thumbnail. How you get a thumbnail with that? How you do a thumbnail with that pizza? Girl, look at the hell. We're here. Let's go ahead and get into this bite. All right, cuz. So, mac and cheese pizza for the good old Buddha. It lets you get extra stuff. So, I just got some green onions and some Canadian bacon. Let's do it. Wow. Wow. It's the crust. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And this little smile here. I tell you what, it wouldn't have been much without them um, green onions. Wow. Ranch just makes everything better. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was gonna be like that. Let me try this. It's not bad with the ranch. Cause don't worry about my hair. No, you should not. It's good with that. Guess what's bad? Peach crunch. It ain't gonna fit, so I ain't gonna put it up. Wait, damn! I'm gonna like a waterfall. Y'all, this pizza is honestly, <laughs> it's better than what I expected. It's better. Cause look at that. Mac and cheese pizza. Damn, that's good. I always wanted to buy some old green onion. I wish I would have got extra cheese on that some going. Honestly. At this point, 
Oh, I want to try. Get a little boodoo for that boodoo. Yes, indeed. Damn, I'm covering up my whole face like mm. What this mean? Drop it in the comments. What this mean? <laughs> it's my fault. I know y'all about to ask, what do I do with the crust? I'm just not a crust fan. I'm not. I don't know why. Been like that my whole life. But boy. Wait one minute now. No. To my food. As picky as I am, come on. Y'all know I will eat the same things every video. Y'all know it. Where that peach punch, it hit different. I eat the same things every video. We'll switch it up this week. Try this Chipotle ranch. It's just kind of pasty to me. See, look how thick that is. It's like a cheese. Let's see. Girl, that's cheese. I'm dead. <laughs> I thought I got spit. That glued it. I thought I had got the oven. Um, I thought I had got that Chipotle ranch. Girl, that's cheese. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm good there. Roxy. Roxy Bell. I love you, girl. Yes, I do. Miss Eddie. I love you. Yes, I do. Denise Johnson. Because I just got two orders before I sit down. Just because all the rest of them, they sent out, girl. <laughs> Send them on out. We should be getting them soon. Denise Johnson. Come on, boy. Thank you for purchasing the uh, Baby Woo Truly a Treat. Fontressa Fox. Fontressa, you've been, been with me for a while, too. She uh, purchased the purple Truly a Treat hat. Thank y'all so much for your purchases. It's a little late right now, so I have those out. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. You're only a day. Oh. Wait. <laughs> oh. It's a regular old muck one today. Regular old muck one. Oh. I just want to let y'all know. I'm so ready for uh, quarantine to be over. We're not technically still in quarantine, but we technically kind of still in quarantine. I'm going to see me some people. Yes, I am. I want to go see Run the Red Sauce. Yes, I do. I want to go see Simply Fooled by T.Y. Yes, I do. I want to go see Steph and Tasha. Girl, I'm missing Tasha. Yes, I am. I want to go on down to the Florida line. I just want to hit that whole line. I want to see Shay Snacks. I want to see Auntie KC. I want to see Sharika B, and I want to see Ryan. Yes, I do. And oh, I done messed up another shirt. And I want to go see uh, Tony so we can drink a rum and coke and have a little taste. Mm -hmm. I know, I've been heavy on that taste. <laughs> we're not going to be here long. No, we're not. Let's go ahead and get into this conversation. I hope this video reaches you well. Yes, I do. I hope this video reaches you well because I hope you're in great spirits. I hope that everything that you are doing right now is preparing you for your greater. See, one thing about that greater, you got to speak it into existence. Cause See, you be saying, this, this is what your problem is. I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to yell because you just have to yell at you. I'm not going to yell. Yes, I am. See, that's your problem, him. You want to say, 
I, I probably could do it. Um, I'm gonna try to do it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this, and I'm gonna try to open my own business, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it'll work. See, you're doubting yourself. Mm -hmm. It's my fault. is bomb. I can't get over it. I'm gonna use some extra green onions. Mm -hmm. and we can deal with that damn cheese. That thick ass stuff. So you go into the situation with doubt already. And then you wonder why things don't work out. It's because for one to my fault. Your father already told you it was yours. He already gave it to you. But you got so much doubt in yourself that you don't even see that the path is already prepared for you. <laughs> the path is prepared. It was already prepared for you when you was in your mother's womb. It was. It was already prepared. And I'm going to talk to myself too. See, my problem was I lost focus on what he wanted me to do. See, I came on here in these couple, last couple videos doing what I wanted to do, not realizing that God... You get all the glory in the first place. So whatever it is you're going to do, I don't care if a thousand people watch this video or a hundred thousand people watch this video. It never mattered to me. As long as I can get the one, they be like, Cuz, yeah, let me change my life today. I'm changing my life today because Jesus sent me a word through Cuz. I, I lost sight of that. I did it. And I came over here the last couple of videos mm -hmm, saying what I wanted to say instead of just look at the peace. <sighs> Well, I'll tell you. Dang made another picture. They made that one. They did it. So I'm open. Girl, don't worry about my hair. It's not what we hit for. It was not. Focus! Don't worry about my hair. Don't worry about my hair. It's not what we hit for. But I lost focus on the bigger picture. See? Let me tell you, okay, I had got discouraged. I did. I said, man, I said, man, my views down. I said, my views down. And when I realized that, I said, hell, they really down. Weekend went by. The views were still down. So I woke up this morning. From a nap, I took a nap when I got out work. I did it. Girl, I was tired. There are people at the job running me ragged. They doing it. And I said, the views was never for me. So I lost focus of what I was here for. The views was never for me. The glory was always for him. See, what happens is when we start putting ourselves first and we start doubting things and we start, you know, sabotaging stuff and we start complaining about stuff, God is looking at you like, that was never your mission. That was never your mission. But you made the mission about you when I sent you there to complete the mission for me. See, the, re the reward would have been greater had I focused on his mission and not put myself in the way. See what I'm saying? Stop putting yourself in the way. You're in your own way. And you're doubting yourself. And the thing about it is God ain't never asked you to doubt. He knew who, he, what, who you were when he sent you on that mission. He knew all your imperfections. He knew all your flaws. He knew everything about you that when you, because I'm going to tell you, because let me look tight. You can tell this video a little bit more about him because I'm a little relaxed. <laughs> I should do my doggy on him. I should do my, do my doggy on him. Neither here nor there. But let me tell you something. You can tell. Nah, guess what? I can't say I don't know what this video is about. But when you're on that mission, see, the thing about it is, Wherever you at right now, he is ready to meet you. I don't care how broken you are, how discouraged you are, how bent you are, how much you're ready to give up. All you got to do is cry out to your father because he is ready and waiting for you to say, hey, I need a little help today. He's ready. But the thing about it is we get in our own way. We do it. Are we? <laughs> we truly think we, we own this life, ain't we? We don't. But Jesus, he a, he a gentleman. My father is, girl, he is such a gentleman. He is the sweetest the thing. He not going to come nowhere he not wanted. And the thing about it is sometimes when we get in our own way, what we do is we knock him out that way. Girl, the pizza and ranch combination, it don't get no better.
No. It's just truly a meal fit for a point. That's fair. But the thing about it is. Your path was already cleared before you even set on it, on that destination, cuz. See you know what I'm saying? It was already ready. The ups and downs, it was already prepared. But you be messing over yourself when you get discouraged because that hill is higher than you thought it was. The hill was higher than you thought it was. So the first thing you wanna do is get discouraged and you wanna say, well, well God, I didn't know. I didn't know. See that I heard gonna get you in a lot of trouble because Jesus is gonna be like, I did though. And I and I didn't give you this obstacle if I didn't think that you could complete it. But you done turned back around and went home and not even knowing that the shoes that was prepared under your feet was built to climb that hill. But you had so little faith of what you had to go there and do, you put yourself in the way. And now you're looking at somebody else climbing a hill trying to figure out how easy it is for them. And guess what? All they did was believe. So I need you to put a little bit more belief in your father and a little bit more in yourself. You got to believe in you. See, the thing about you is the fact that some of the stuff get eaten hard. You want to head out. Yes, you do. I know you. Oh, this ain't about you. You perfect. I forgot. You perfect. Just send this to somebody, you know. Uh -uh. Send it to somebody you know that's going through this because I know you perfect. I know it. Yeah, I know it. You ready to be, you ready to, to judge somebody right now. You perfect. I ain't worried about it. You perfect. But, to my book. Girl, that's my work phone. Man. I'm nervous to check my phone. But the thing about it is, you're looking at the other people on the side of the hill and you're wondering how they did it. It wasn't that it wasn't that they had more equipment than you. They just had more faith in themselves and in God than you. So you lose your faith, faith along the way. And it's okay. It happens to the best of us. We all do. We do it. We do it. Oh, ye of little faith. You heard that saying. Oh, ye of little faith. Don't worry about my hair. Listen to the message. Not the messenger. Jeez. Girl. Pay attention. Focus. Don't worry about my hair. I just told you I don't get it done until Wednesday. Bring a little judging self over here. All you want to do is just judge people. You perfect. Forgot. What for you? You perfect. Anyway. And the person to my goal, who made it on the other side of that hill wasn't even more prepared for you. They didn't have the materials that you had. They didn't have the knowledge you had. They didn't have the skills you had. They didn't have nothing. They didn't have no more than what you had. And the only difference between them was they believed that they could. I'm just a messenger. Today, I know exactly what this video was about. I I'm gonna talk to myself. I know. Yeah. I had lost focus of what I needed to do. I'm back. I don't care if one person watches this video or a million people watch this video. Because God said, go talk to my people and guess what I'm doing. So everybody who's watching this video need to watch it. Because I already know God got something greater for me. What's he doing? I'm not no dummy. My father is good to me. I wanna say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the ASMR guy said, haven't seen a purple shirt in years. Girl, I, I'm telling that fool. I mean, that shirt I wore yesterday, y'all, I, I used to wear that shirt all the time. And Roxy just reminded me that we hit our two year anniversary on YouTube yesterday, I think. I started taking it serious on January the 1st, 2019, but I published my first video August something. 2018. Um, so we cut two years, man, of this. Kathy Butler, I love the hell out of you, girl. Debbie Shoemaker, you know I love you so much, man. Oh, man. Miriam Navarro, you ain't got to be first, baby. As long as you show up, we good. 
We good, Miriam. Norma Humphrey, I love you and we praying for you, my love. Black Dylan, I cannot wait to pull up on you, boy. I cannot wait to pull up on you, Black Dylan. Tashia Dixon, good morning, my love. Hey, everybody. Alyssa Taylor, I love y'all, man. Tiffany Lawrence, that henny butter recipe, I'm, I'm fit to work on that. If somebody take it, don't worry about it. God will give me something better. Glad my B, you know you the MVP in this motherfucker. Shelby Garnett, I love you, girl. Shannon Reynolds, you invited to the cookout, Shannon. Shannon, you, you invited to the cookout. <laughs> Nicole Abney, I love you. Angela Jackson, I love your head ass. Anyway, <laughs> Erica Byner, y'all, that's my, one of my extra moms. I'm telling you, take a community to uh to freaking uh, raise my bad ass. <laughs> Elizabeth Jackson, I love you. Belinda Lawrence, I love you so much. Your package is on the way. I checked your tracking number, my love. It's on the way. Due to COVID, it's going to be some delays in packages. Excuse me. But it's on the way, my baby. I promise. Bex Brown, I love you so much, babe. Myra Aguirre said, her favorite drink is Remy Martin. It's lit, damn. <laughs> Mika's, Mika's Maylane, I love you, girl. From the bottom of my heart. Shaquanda Holly, good morning, Tiki. You already know what it is. That's just a few of y'all, man. Ain't too sure I'm at Daniel. I love you, baby. Short like to see, I love you. Man, it's just too many and all. Sheila Daniels, I love y'all. I like to just let y'all know y'all appreciate it. It's not on you, it's in you. And what's in you, they could never take away. Cause don't you lose sight and don't get discouraged. Don't lose sight of what's important. Spit, I did it. It's gonna be easy to clean up today. I'm gonna go to my boat. I'm gonna clean up. What? I'm gonna clean up. Here I am. I'm not no diamond. Hold on. To my boat. Right now. To my boat. My bread be so damn thick. I'm waiting on one and butter sauce to come in and stop too. Just, oh, I got some flavors by name Dad that came in today. Let me get this This is your favorite cousin. I this is your favorite cousin. I you already know this, you already know to do. God is Don't forget to drink a bit for me. This is your favorite cousin. Let's get it. Time curtains. Swipe them. Welcome to the shit show, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! What a meal this here was. I'll tell you what. When this sun going up, I'm gonna take my good little nap. I'm gonna work. What? I told y'all don't be acting like you don't be cleaning up when you want family to leave. Hell, drop in the comments what I should eat tomorrow. Though. That's my rent. Drop in the comments what y'all think I should eat tomorrow. Cause I don't know. Cause I usually record by five or six, depending on you know how my day go. Anyway, cause don't lose focus of what your journey is. You know, cause sometimes you can't see the forest because of the trees. But don't let the forest distract you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the trees distract you from your mission. It's a mission bigger than you, cuz you got to fulfill it. Because everybody here has a mission to fulfill. And if you're not doing your part, what are you doing? That's why you're so lost, because you're not doing your part, because you get discouraged every time you're going on, on a mission. You gotta stop that. Tracy Smith, girl, that peach punch is lit. 